All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we're looking at one of the younger trees I have that we recently planted in this plot. This is the plot that I've selected to plant a lot of the varieties that I'm holding so dearly. And I find them to be kind of above and beyond the rest so far, or at least are definitely worthy of growing them in the ground, getting them established, evaluating them in the ground, and seeing what changes are of note. Um, I have one variety today that we're going to be looking at and tasting and reviewing called salame or salami. Um, I'm not exactly sure on the true spelling of this, if it's an E or an I at the end. Uh, I'll have to check my notes, check the, um, I guess the listings there at Pomona Gardens. But uh, this is an Italian variety that I at one point was concerned could be very similar to Vertolino, which um, is not really too much of a concern because Vertolino is one of my favorite figs. It does so darn well here. But I would like to know if they are the same. And I compared them very, very late at the end of the season last year. And I realized they're nothing alike. Uh, there is obviously a, a similarity in color. Also a similarity in shape. But that's kind of it. These are much larger figs. They taste different. Um, this is a fig that, I don't even know. It's like if Vertolino is almost like a smaller Moro da Caneva or Figo Moro da Caneva, excuse me. Whereas Salami is like almost like a cross between Dalmati and Figo Moro da Caneva or Dalmati and Vertolino. It's just like very different. It's larger. It's more um, uniform, uh, not uniform. It's more, um, how do we describe this? More oval in shape. Um, it's got some good honey at the eye. There's even honey here leaking from the skin, it looks like. And I don't know, I, I don't know how to exactly describe it. You know what we should do? Let me harvest a Vertolino real quick. I definitely have one actually, and we'll just compare it that we'll just put them side by side. Why not do that? Salame, you'll see, is a much larger fig. Um, you know what, actually the one I harvested I think is inside, but for education purposes, we'll harvest this one right here. There we go. And so by looks, I mean, <laughs> you can kind of see a resemblance, couldn't you? Um, but let me put them side by side. We'll cut them open and we'll see if there really is any similarity. <sighs> Similar uh, length of stem. Look at that. I mean, this is why it was so hard <laughs> to describe two figs. Uh, see the uh, honey at the eye on both of them, but there's definitely a different shape. It's more pear shaped almost with the Vertolino, I think is a good way to describe it. And then the salami that we're looking at today on the left is like more elongated and straight. Not so much of that, that neck that uh, you'd see on a pear or maybe a neck you'd see on like a col de dame perhaps. Let's cut them open and compare the inside. That looks nice. They look rather similar on the inside. Holy moly, do they look similar. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, this is why, you know, I'm not crazy. You can see it. I mean, look at that. It's like a very, very similar pattern between the figs. Um, the pattern is kind of like the, the flower parts come together horizontally. Not much of it goes downwards, but they're kind of coming together like, um, like a zipper. Does that make sense? Let's try the salami first. Crazy.
Tastes a lot like Vertolino. Nice berry flavor though. Maybe slightly more acidic. Let's try Vertolino. It feels like I'm eating the same fig almost. I detect very little difference, guys. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Now the leaf pattern is definitely different. The fruits are definitely different. Um, what is the deal with this? This could very easily just be a mutation. One of the others could be just a mutation of the other. And it has changed, the fruit size has changed, the leaf pattern has changed, you know, the flavor has changed. And I probably won't detect the real differences between them until these trees become more mature. We have more time with them. And it's more of like a, like a hardy Chicago, comparing two different hardy Chicagos to each other. It's clear which one's bigger. It's the salame. Beyond that, I don't really know. I know Vertolino is quite hardy. I don't have much information on the salame, but it's a very different leaf pattern. I mean, you would never think that they're the same. Tastes similar to me. All right. Let me show you guys just the leaf patterns so we can at least maybe, you know, I, I thought I was putting this to the bed and that we're gonna definitely have differences. <laughs> but look at that. Look at that leaf pattern. I mean, that's got multiple lobes, pretty distinct lobes to it. But if I show you this, Vertolino tree and really all of the Vertolino trees I have have this leaf pattern and don't have the one that we just looked at. Uh, they're, it's almost like a single lobed tree. Heart shaped leaves. Let's see, maybe some actually no. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm right. Am I right? So here's the lobe that we're that I've typically seen one single lobe. You know, another single lobe right there. But some of these actually do have, interesting. Some of them do have that, but they don't look like the other one. I mean, not exactly. Comparing leaves is just so difficult, but, and it depends, it largely changes based on the vigor, where it's growing, so many different factors that influence a leaf pattern that it's just foolish to compare them. But I mean, the figs are similar enough. They're both Italian figs. Why couldn't they be mutations or one's a mutation of the other? Which one came first, the chicken or the egg, right? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this one. I think this was an interesting review that we did. Please hit that subscribe button for me hit the like button for me and check out the other reviews we've been doing now on the blog, figboss.com. Catch you guys for the next video. Take care.